level design is one of the most difficult parts of making a game. For this reason, we at Unity have developed a set of tools to make it easier for you. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Polybrush, which allows you to sculpt, paint, and blend within the Unity editor. We're also going to create this little planet using various features of Polybrush. So with that being said, buckle up and let's get into it. With the release of Unity 2019.2, Polybrush was added to the package manager. So in order to get started, let's head over to Window and enter the Package Manager. In here, we're going to browse down a bit until we find Polybrush and then simply select it and press Install. Once Unity finishes installing Polybrush, we will see three new options appear in the Package Manager under Samples. Polybrush comes with a pack of example shaders. If you want to use them, you can pick one of the three options based on which render pipeline your project makes use of. My project is using the built-in render pipeline, so I'm going to go with the first option, Standard. Cool, so now we have installed both Polybrush and a pack of sample shaders which are located in the Samples folder in our project view. Now, let's start playing. First, let's add a sphere to our scene which we're going to make more awesome using Polybrush. Let's go to Game Object, 3D, and pick Sphere. Next step is to open up the Polybrush window. We're going to head over to Tools, Polybrush, and choose Polybrush Window. So let's take a quick look at the features before we proceed. We have the following five tools. Sculpt Tool, Smooth Tool, Paint Vertex, Scatter Mode, and Paint Textures. First, let's try the Sculpt Tool. The Sculpt Tool is for shaping a mesh, which in our case is the sphere. While the Polybrush window is open, if we hover our mouse over the scene view and especially the sphere, we can see a brush on the surface. To make this brush visible on another game object, we simply have to select that game object first. While we're in the Sculpt mode, we can hold down our left mouse button to pull the surface. If we instead want to push the surface, we can hold down Control while using the left mouse button. We can also set a brush strength, which is how much we want to push or pull the faces we are sculpting and set a direction for how vertices are moved. If we disable brush normal is sticky and modify the sphere, the vertices will start following the brush, whereas having this option enabled will move vertices only on the direction we set. So let's quickly sculpt a little bit on the sphere to make it look more like a planet. I will make sure to add a few hills around here and just shape it nicely. By changing the radius of the brush through brush settings, I can make my hills larger or smaller to be more precise. I will also choose the smooth tool and smooth out these harsh hills to make them look more natural and curved. By reducing the strength in brush settings, we can lower the intensity of the smooth brush. And there we go! I think this looks nice enough to host some vegetation later on. Next, we're going to paint and blend some nice textures on our planet. In order to do this, we will need the material of the sphere to support texture blending. Now, this is really easy to do though, so just follow along. We will first create a new material that makes use of the example shader that we imported earlier. So let us browse to the samples folder and find the shaders. And here, actually, let me show you a trick. Right click the standard texture blend shader, go to create and pick material. We can name this material anything we want to, but I will call it planet material. Now, because we right clicked on the shader, the material automatically makes use of it so you don't have to assign it yourself. Hashtag Unity Tips. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, let's assign this material to our sphere by simply dragging the material file onto our sphere object in the scene. Then, we'll expand the material properties and add in our textures that we want to paint. I'm going to enter the Terrain Textures Pack Free folder, which is an asset pack that I downloaded for this project through the Unity Asset Store. If you want to use the same asset, we have a link for it in the description below. In this folder, we have a few textures, so I'm just simply going to drag them into the corresponding fields in the material properties through the inspector window. Now let's return to the polybrush window and enter paint textures. And here we can now see that we have all four textures added. Let's now pick flood, select the texture we want to paint and click anywhere on the sphere once to apply this texture all around our planet. 
Next up, I'm going to paint various parts of the planet with the different textures, and we can already start seeing that the textures are a little too big in size. So let's get back in the material properties of the planet and increase the tiling of the textures. Now it looks better. Great, now we have a sculpted planet which has got some nice textures on it. One thing is still missing though, and that's vegetation. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's enter the prefab scatter mode. This is a tool that allows you to paint prefabs on an object in the scene. As you can see, it says drag prefabs here under current palette. So I'm going to highlight some of the 3D vegetation models we have in this asset folder right here and drag them into that field. In order to start painting, we simply have to check this little checkbox below each prefab we want to paint and then simply go Bob Ross on this little planet. We can of course paint multiple prefabs at once or one at a time. A neat trick is that you can hold down control and it will toggle to erase which will remove the objects that you have painted. So let me take my time and just cook something up here. I am playing with the values such as frequency which decides how often a prefab will spawn when you paint and randomize scale and rotation in order to add some variety so our vegetation doesn't look all the same. And after a few minutes of just painting around the planet, here is our gorgeous planet. As you can see, we are able to easily modify any mesh in Unity thanks to Polybrush and do more advanced level design very quickly. Let us know in the comment section if you're working on a game right now and how you're gonna use Polybrush in your project. You all are always so creative with how you use Unity and features like Polybrush, so I look forward to seeing what you're creating. If you want to learn more about Polybrush, make sure to check out the link in the description below, which is going to take you to the documentation for this feature. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section. And on that, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the comment section.